Anyway, you want to go back to my place? I got some My Chemical Romance CDs and we could watch The Crow or... What? Oh. Oh, you, you see a friend of yours, you're going to go talk to your friend. I, I, uh... Uh... Oh, my day ditched me, man. I just have no idea how to talk to women. The only people who like me are Zell and Cypher. What does that even say about me? Oh my god, Quistus was talking to me, and she's complimenting me. What do you say, uh... Say something, something, something slick, something! Say something! Uh, thank you. Uh, stupid, stupid! The music in there sucks anyway, it sounds like circus music. Is she still here? What do you want? Look, I don't want to play cards with you, okay? Yeah, this is thrilling, going to Squall's prom. I mean, the game is bad enough when there's actually stuff to do. Plus, Squall can't read signals if you tied him to a rock and bashed his fucking head in. How could you like me? You're my teacher. Dude, she's 18 and she whips people. I have to go to Tijuana and pay to get women like that to pay attention to me, alright? These women are basically throwing themselves at his feet. If you put a neuron of brain power into this, he could probably get selfie into a foursome. Oh, you've got an order? What? This whole game's a tease. You and I are to go to the secret area? You dirty chick! You mean you actually want to go to the secret area? Amazing! <laughs> Christus boobies, Christus boobies, Squall is getting late tonight. Whips and chains and kinky leather. And Squall asks, what do you want to do there? Are we to... Oh, come on, you dense bastard. Uh, Squall, I am warning you, the off chance of seeing Quistus naked is about the only thing that keeps me playing this game. Do not screw this up! What do you want to do at the secret area, you... I ought to... And he's still clueless. Yes, get changed. Oh, not into that. You look like a total queer. I need sexual healing, babe. What? What? I haven't fought the T-Rex. Where are you going with this? Status changes the... T she brought me all the way out here to have a tutorial? Oh! Oh, you have to be kidding me. This woman is officially a tease. This is like the third tutorial on junctioning. How complex is this thing? Quistus, you are seriously ruining the mood for me. Yes, let's go to the secret area. Come on. Hey, not bad. It's a regular lover's lane, if lover's lane was infested with monsters. That is quite a view of whatever it is I'm looking at. This is so dull. Check out this pause. I have done nothing to this footage. Man, what time? Time for you to get a watch. Let's count this pause. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Oh my god! No, I'm not listening. Nobody's saying anything. Squall, she is waiting for you to make your move. Don't say that. No. I don't often say this, but I have so much better moves than this guy. She doesn't want to say anything. She just wants you to get horizontal. No, don't say that! <laughs> I hate this game. I hate it. I hate it. Anyway, on the way back to your dorm, you encounter somebody in distress from a horrible dragonfly monster. Gee, I, I wonder if it was a good idea to have a monster-infested garden left unsupervised and unguarded where anyone could wander into it without protection. I guess it's just assumed if you go to this place, don't wander into Jurassic Park. There's so much about this I just don't understand. I mean, do they import these monsters? Do they breed them? Do they feed them? Who's in charge of this? Who cleans up their poop? Oh yeah, these monsters also have the spells Protect and Shell, which I don't have, so I had to spend about 20 minutes drawing a hundred of those for everybody. This is the worst date I've ever had. Got ditched, had a tutorial on junctioning, fought a giant tick. I just love spending eight hours of every game killing giant bugs. Oh, Quistus, you're too good for him. I better get back to my dorm, take a cold shower, and post something emo on MySpace. I just hope I don't run into fucking Zell. Don't god. Don't you have anywhere else to be? Don't you have any life outside of mine? I need to get some sleep. I have a mission in the morning. Lord Raiden! Looks like I have to cross the sea again if Zell ever gets here. Now where did you get that? Zell, you bojo. Those boards don't work on water. Unless you've got power. <laughs> Zell, dingleberry that he is, doesn't seem to know about the school's rule against hoverboards and gets his taken away instantly, asshat. At least Robin Williams makes me squad leader for a change. I'd ask where Cypher is, but then I really don't care. I like how Selfie almost got dressed for this mission. Headmaster Sid pulls you aside and gives you what he calls a cursed item, but it actually turns out to be a magical lamp. I mean, hey, cool. You just have to be careful, but I mean, it's just a magic lamp. What could possibly go wrong? What the heck is that? LD 
Diablo, no! <laughs> oh no. Please have mercy, O oh Lord of Darkness, no! <laughs> just happened the devil are you kidding me he gave me a lamp that had the devil in it i was expecting a happy genie who sings little songs and grants wishes not the devil how was i supposed to guess that i mean what kind of weird shit is headmaster sit into i mean i know he told me it was cursed and i should be careful but when you give someone a lamp with the devil in it you don't say oh be careful it's a little dangerous you say here's a lamp and it has the devil in it what the hell am i gonna do it turns out all you really need to do is cast Blindness on the Devil, because he has two main attacks, one being a spell that drains your life, but never actually takes it, and a physical attack. So if you blind him, his physical attack is completely useless. The Gravity spells have the side effect of putting all your characters at extremely low health, setting off their limit breaks, so all you have to do is continually wail on him with your best attacks, and he's completely powerless to stop you, while you just sit there pummeling him and drawing all the magic you want off him. And by the way, Selfie's Limit Break is freaking awesome. You know, I dropped three Meteor spells on him. Isn't Meteor, like, the ultimate spell in Final Fantasy VI, the one that reportedly will, like, cause the apocalypse of the world? And I just dropped it on Satan three times. But the real death blow comes from Zell's Kung Fu. Because swords and meteors are one thing, but a good Chuck Norris roundhouse to the jaw will finish anything, even the devil. And in classic Pokemon fashion, as soon as you kick a major monster's ass, he serves you. I should go back to the school and kick Sid's ass for giving me the devil, but instead I'm going to continue on with my mission. I have to catch a train to go to a town called Timber, which is across the sea. Oh my god, the queen of cards. No, I don't want to play cards. Oh, I should never have talked to you in the first place. 30,000 gil to change a card game rule? This lady tells me I have a pretty nice physique, and she asked me if I want to be a model for her uh, photograph. So, I mean, hey, why not? I want to make a lot of pictures. Okay, well, let's negotiate. But forget about it, you brought it up! I love how in every RPG in history, you are free to wander in anyone's house and rifle through their shit for belongings. It's just, it's just great. You found an old issue of Timber Maniacs. Not. Who cares if it is Timber Maniacs? What is it, some kind of weird porn for lumberjacks? Yeah, Zell doesn't want me in his room. Dude, I don't want to be in your room. I never want to be in your room. Let's just get a ticket for the train, okay? 3,000? Are you kidding me? I don't have 3,000 gil. What do I get? Oh, jeez. You mean to tell me the Special Forces didn't pay for my damn train ticket? This is advanced culture, but they don't have credit cards? Come on, I had to sell stuff to get on this train. You better believe I am billing Sid for this when I get back. Hey, look, we're under the ocean, but it's daylight outside. Selfie and Zell are just awestruck by this train, like they've never been on a passenger car in their lives. No, it's not pretty cool, Zell. It's a train. God. You know, Squirrel, if you threw Zell out the window, no one would ever find his body. It's right about now that I'm beginning to realize that both of my traveling companions are absolutely batshit insane. Zell is astonished to the point of wetting his pants at the fact that we actually have a room on the train. Hey, for 3,000 bucks, I better have a room. And Selfie starts working her lollycon 12-year-old maturity charms on you, singing a train song that she made up impromptu on the train, singing about how much she loves trains going to the future. Oh, Jesus. I'm actually going to hang out with Zell, seeing as how he is actually less crazy. I can't believe I actually said that. Zell, my god, man, you are in your 20s. Stop bouncing on the couch! Oh my god, there's only two bunks. They even have magazines here. Pet Pals? Ew! Dude, Zell! Whatever you do on your own time is your business, pal. I don't want to read your stinking dirty Pet Pal magazine. It really pays to be a me No, it doesn't! I had to pay for this ticket! I am never getting over this! No, Zell, I don't want to hear about Timber. Please, don't tell me about Timber. No, Zell, I mean it! Jeez, come on, just shut up, Zell. I gotta tell the dude three times to shut up. Oh, and Selfie is already feeling train sick. The heady drama in the world of Final Fantasy VIII, the quest for Dramamine. You know, looking around this room, for 3,000 bucks, I got a big sofa, two bunks, but no TV? What the hell? I bought the presidential suite. It would be nice if I could get some pay-per-view pornography. I know there's not a lot going on during this review, but, I mean, this is the game. Nothing happens in this game. Someone turn off that Mariah Carey CD! What the hell is going on? Zeppelin Selfie just passed out! What is that noise? Ah! Jeez! Ah! 